How's it going everybody? Do I have an awesome video for you guys today. As you guys may have seen from the thumbnail and the title, I opened up 36 Silver Tempest booster boxes and had some amazing results. Tons of full art, so make sure you stick around to the end. I'm going to go over everything I pulled here in this video. And we're going to start off with the Radiant cards. I really do enjoy the Radiant cards. It, it adds just an extra thing to what feels like getting pulls out of the booster box. I wonder what they're going to do when it comes to Scarlet and Violet because the pull rates in these sets are just absolutely insane. Um, also, if you're interested, I have everything listed from the reverse rares to hollow rares and above on my ebay store my ebay store is wenzel underscore pokemon uh, a lot of stuff is sold if you guys are interested in all at all these alakazams have been a great seller starting off you can see we got about an average of 20 each radiant cards i think the most was 23 jirachis super cool all right let's move into the ultra rares you can see this is just an insane pile of cards all right um i'll get them over here starting off with regilecki always a fun one to say we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve the average was about a 10 i would say for these um stun tanks some of them were just you would get a ton of more than the rest very cool i always love these new sets it brings in a lot of sales to other cards in my ebay store but as well as just it feels like a, a nice little refresh to the page not a lot of this one uh, we got tons of full arts too and yeah if you guys saw the title or the the thumbnail we definitely did very well on the alternate arts much better than lost origin i opened up I think around a thousand packs and only pulled one alternate art, which really, really sucked. This time it made up for it. And we got this awesome Reshiram. I think this is one of the coolest um, full arts or ultras they've had in a while. Nice little Reshiram there. Into Omnistar. Tons of Omnistars. Uh, all my Lugia V-Stars, if you guys are interested in Lugia, I know it's a really hot one. A lot of that is selling fast, so if you see this video and you're looking for playable cards for your deck, I would hop on it fast. We got a nice little Hisuian Arcanine, and I ship everything super securely. If it ever arrives damaged somehow, like the post office drives over it or something crazy, I will always send a refund. So here's the awesome Lugia. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Lugias. It was actually the least amount we pulled out of one V was the Lugias, of course. <laughs> Alrighty. I opened this up with my brother and I. It took us like five hours, four or five hours to open up. It was 36 booster boxes, tons of packs. So much fun, though. Always my favorite thing is getting a brand new set and looking at all the great artwork and a lot of this stuff will sell by the weekend, which is crazy. Like, the, all these cards will be pretty much gone. And that, like I said earlier, I have the reverses and hollow rares as well. There's some really playable cards like Serena. And I forget what items they are. There's like an item hollow rare that is really cool. So Viper V. Ultra rares don't sell as well as they used to. There's just so much more other stuff like Radiant cards, Trainer Galleries, that these just become kind of the last thing that people prioritize still. Some underrated artwork in here for sure. I think this one up next, the unknown, is really cool. We haven't had one of these in sets in forever, it feels like. So it's nice to have these come back. The alternate art of that card is also great. Um, two more ultra rares to go over here. We got Mawile. Not many of that. And then finally, Ho-Oh, which is really cool. I really enjoyed this one. An awesome Ho-Oh. Got a lot of him. All right, let's move into the trainer gallery. This trainer gallery for the just the regular like ones like this, the character secret rares, whatever you like to call them, is a little lacking. I'd say evolution. We don't, there's no evolutions, no Charizards, no no Rayquazas in the just regular basic trainer galleries. Still got some cool artworks, nonetheless. Nothing, nothing like crazy. That's going to make people look for chase cards out of these. So we got the Flaffy. 
Super cool. I sold a bunch of these in Japanese already. Up next, we have Gardevoir. This one's a nice little artwork as well. I think these trainer gallery cards really just, they make up so much. They make the set so much better because when you have a white code or and you don't have a hit, so no ultra rare, you still have a chance at these and it really makes the set feel so much, so much more fun to open up. You don't feel like you're getting scammed, you know. I've opened up booster boxes. I remember even like when opening, if you were to go open up like a Vivid Voltage Darkness Ablaze booster box now, it would just not feel the same. Pan Simeon. At least when it comes to like battle styles, Chilling Rain, those cards have like some awesome alternate art pulls. But early on in Sword and Shield, there's not much to look forward to. I would, I would say the most fun I would have opening up would be like a Sword and Shield base set because I really like the Secret Rares in that set, the Lapras, Snorlax especially. But yeah, they, they, they got nothing on the late Sword and Shield era. This Braxton card is really cool. I like this one a lot. Nice little trainer there. I'm not familiar with what her name is. Up next, we have Melodic. This one's okay. It's kind of cool. Melodic. Nice little shine to it. Rock Rough up next. <laughs> taking a nap. So many Pokemon are taking naps in the trainer galleries. Or if they're Snorlax, they're eating. All right, Smeargold. This one I think is the coolest. I really like the, looks like a confetti or spray paint on the side of a train, something like that. I love this card, Smeargle. Very nice. Artwork, Malamar. Kind of a basic artwork, nothing too special with this one. And finally, we have Altaria, which is this, this one. Look how many we got of this. I think we got like 23. This was the one that I pulled the most of, Altaria. So, very common for me. All right, moving into the... Yeah, we'll go into the full arts now. And you'll see, because of the trainer gallery, we have a... So, there's also some V-stars in here, as well as a couple V-maxes, but we're into the full arts. All right, starting off with with a, some nice full arts. The, the Vulpix here, I really like this. Chestnut, Reggie Drago, one, two, three, four. I think that was the one we pulled the most of. Professor Burnett, Malwile. So much cool little full arts. I mean, these things are all right. They're not as cool as they once used to be because alt arts have kind of just taken over. I do like the colors of the background of this on the star, though. Judge. Got a double up of Judge, Stun Tank, Lance. Worker, pulled three of her. This is the trainer gallery card. Got four of him. Iridian, this is also a trainer gallery. Grody is also a trainer gallery. Regilecki, full art. I only pulled one of this. I kind of like the artwork of that one. We got an unknown V. One, two, three unknowns. Brandon Wallace. Hisuian Arcanine, which I think this full art looks really cool. Got double up. Ho-Oh. Got three Ho-Ohs. Love this card. Probably one of the better full arts, just basic full arts I've seen in a while. So we got a nice little waifu here. There's a lot of waifus in this set, surprisingly, like this Candace here. Got three of her. Reshiram full art. Lovely looking card. We've got four of them. Friends and Galar. Here's the Chase full art in... The trainer gallery set. Got the got Marnie, Goria, Hop. Very nice. One, two, three. I pulled them, so it's pretty common for me at least. And then we have Serena, which is the waifu of the set. I already sold all three of these here. So if you're interested in that, sorry. She sold basically the second I post them, along with these Lugia full arts. They are also sold. Got Regilecki V Max. Only pulled four V Maxes, which is crazy. And here's the awesome Lugia V Star. These are all unfortunately sold out. So if you need these for your deck, I'm sorry. You're going to have to look somewhere else. Got Mawile V Star. Tons of those. Actually, got some more Mawile V Stars there. A Lowland Vulpix V Star. It's a Viper V Star. I like the artwork on this one. And we got Reggie Drago. 
unknown v star so that's it for the full arts we're moving into the good stuff we got the trainer gallery as well as some secret rares so let's get into it starting off with duraladon v max lovely corviknight v max i really like the colors on that one blaziken rayquaza this is one of the best trainer gallery cards uh, if if not the best, I think the Pikachu or this one is really close as well. The Umbreon VMAX, but I don't know. I really, really like this card. Pulling it was a ton of fun. All right, now we're into the regular full art trainer galleries. Zorora, like this one too. Corviknight VMAX or V, not VMAX. Pulled a ton of those. Cricketune, looks like this is, this reminds me of Legend Arceus. Belissi. So Viper V, I only pulled one of these. I think this is the most expensive one out of the regular Vs. Mawile V, and now we're into the secret rares. Got Energy Switch. We pulled a ton of trainer cards and a couple of some Viper Vs here. V stars. Leafy Camo, Poncho, Duraladon V Max. These are cool. I always love these in the trainer gallery. And we pulled a ton of Rayquazas. We got one, two, three, four, five, six Rayquazas. A beautiful Lugia V Star. We actually doubled up on that. Brandon Secret Rare. When you pull a trainer secret rare, it kind of hurts my soul a little bit. I'd rather have a Pokemon. And we got, oh, this this looks good. Yeah, this is an expensive one here, guys. Lugia V Star Secret Rare. Uh, Serena, two Serena Waifus. Candice, another. Girl, Mawal V Star, Worker, Alolan Vulpix V Star, Unknown V Star, and Reggie Drago V Star. So that is it for the secret rares. Now moving into what you guys all probably came here for the alt arts. So we're going to start off with Stun Tank. We pulled two full art alternate art Stun Tanks. Very, very nice. I love the artwork on those cards. And then we got two. Unknown V full art alternate arts. We did not pull any Reggie Drago alternate arts, which is crazy. But here's where it gets a little insane, you guys. We got four Lugia alternate art. <laughs> alternate art Lugias. I can't believe it. We got four of them. So these two I'm going to be sending off to PSA. And these are the two I have for sale on my eBay store if you guys are interested. This artwork is so cool. Actually, the shine is a little better on this. The artwork is amazing on here. I really, really enjoy it. Pulling this was so fun. My brother and I, we both pulled two. It's just crazy. I've never had like that good of luck opening packs before. And I've seen some YouTubers talk about how the pull rates are, are really bad for this set for alternate arts. For me, it was insane. There was one case that I opened. So a case is six booster boxes, if you aren't familiar one case had two Lugias in it. <laughs> two of them. Yeah, so I had some amazing, amazing results and a ton of fun opening this set. You guys got to let me know if you had any good luck opening this up. I know it is a little early, so if you're watching this after release, let me know what your favorite card is from the set. Mine is definitely the Lugia. It, top notch. Top 10 alternate art full arts that we've seen so far in my opinion top 10 best artwork super happy with the results a little sad i didn't get a reggie drago to see and showcase off for you guys but i mean i'll take an extra two lugias why not right thank you all for watching and have a good rest of your day later